with all of this discussion about mm -hmm. the Switch, and this just, you know, admittedly a little bit of a light news week, and on the fly I made the decision that this isn't episode 69, it's episode 68.5 for next week's sure, episode sure. 69 sure, on sure, Valentine's sure. Day. Yeah. I was like, what if we just together put our heads together and made the definitive top 10 games on Switch, according to us, trademark, mm -hmm. sponsored by Spotlight TV, new episodes every Monday night after we finish recording. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I, I mean, I don't really think I have much of an option. So True. Yeah, I do have a gun to your head off screen. Um, and you, got, you, you, you don't have a gun to my head. You have a gun to my head. Oh, you, you raunchy boy. <gasps> Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Cayman. We got a fun chat today. We got a they're riled up. They're ready to go. They are. I think I think I think together with the chat, we are gonna make a top ten list. Let's do this. So this is what I've done, Cayman. Mm -hmm. I have my switch in front of me and on my computer I have pulled up the best video games on the Nintendo Switch according to Metacritic. And this is just for ideas. I'm not just gonna be like, oh well, the top ten games on Metacritic are these, so that's the list. That's not no no no. That's just so that I, we can reference and think of games. But I figure, why don't we start with this? And this is a great time to get the chat involved. Let's just brainstorm. Let's just throw some games out that we think, let's make a short list, maybe like 15 to 20 games, and then pare it down based on that. How does that sound? Sounds wonderful. Let's, so let's just start. Obviously, I think, yes, Connie, spot on. Breath of the Wild, no contest. Like, that's it's in there. Mm -hmm. At the very least, short sure. list. Absolutely. I think Mario Odyssey as well. 100%. Uh, Liz, great call. Stardew Valley. My wife has put like a thousand hours into Stardew Valley on the Switch. With our wives' powers combined, that 25,000 hours probably in, in, in Stardew Valley. Yeah. Rose is playing it on a new console at this point. Uh, that's how much she loves that game. Yeah. Tony? It's Tony? Hades. Yes. Hades, 100%. Tony. Hades, Tony. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons, I think, is uh, one to consider. I think I think uh, Tina needs to to take a deep breath. It's a top ten game. Okay, I agree. Yeah, I'm just gonna Actually, say yeah. it. I'm gonna say it. It's a top ten yeah. game. I like the Animal Crossing, but I don't know if it's top ten. I mm, I think it is. I think I think we yes. can lock in New Horizons for sure. And can we just uh, really quick sidebar because Connie was a big part of this, as she yeah. says here. Got me through some dark. Like Fuck when yeah. that game came out from March to like May of 2020. What a fucking moment Animal Crossing New Horizons was. We've probably talked about it on the show before, but yeah, uh, I in the chat, this <laughs> Rose right now uh, on her phone, as logged in as me, probably Animal Crossing. Literally, like that was, it was it was magic. Like yeah. it, it, getting a, a, together our parties, like 10 people and just going to each other's islands. And it was fucking uh, incredible. So that is definitely in the top 10. Um, I think... Uh, we already said Hades. I think here's here's where a tricky one for me. Mm. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Because I'm not yeah. a Smash guy. I've yeah, I've been know. on record many times. So like part of me feels like it needs to be included for the culture, but if neither of us really play it and like it, I, this is the definitive top 10 list. Okay, here we go. We got a voice though. Connie, she loves Smash. So Smash at least can be in the short list now because this is a the chat's helping us along here Cameron. i think celeste deserves to be on the short list i think that's a solid choice you know i'm gonna throw a curveball curve and say something that no one's gonna say curve it bravely default two. okay i so play the first bravely default on the on the nintendo 3ds amazing game bravely default two honestly probably better how about that? I've not played it, so I can't. I don't have much to say. Nick in the chat though agrees. Thank you, Nick. Finally, so it's on. To, you know, it's on the short list. Um, I, Nick also mentions um, the Wii U Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was good. I have I had a complicated relationship with that game. I'll put it on the short list for now. I'm gonna go ahead and spoil it. Probably not gonna be on the top ten. However, Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle I think should be in consideration because um, you you like that game too, right? I agree. And also, I want to point out for Constantina, let's go Eevee. I think it's really important that you pointed that one out because I do think that that was the first moment that like we were as close to like what we thought Pokemon was as a kid, at least for me, maybe. Because like I think the big thing is like 
the ability because you could get the pokeball that you could use in the like as a controller and there was just something really special about like sitting in front of your tv replaying yellow and then using a pokeball to catch was just something magical about that i I, I don't know how many people actually played the game like that but like it's just really really cool that you could do something like that and it was like nintendo was like all right all of you late mid to late 20 year olds who grew up playing pokemon yellow and then you just fucking do oh man that shit was great dude that shit was great can you remind me um uh, nuzlocke runs I- i've heard uh, we got three nuzlocke comments in the chat uh, especially having fun doing nuzlocke runs uh, connie nuzlocke runs haven't done that since college tony nuzlocke are the best way to play uh, uh, educate me i forget I- i've heard tony talk about nuzlocke runs but i don't remember so okay, someone someone in the chat correct me if I'm wrong, but is Nuzlocke the the way that you play the game in which if your Pokemon faints during a battle, you have to abandon or you have to like get rid of your mm, Pokemon? Yep. It is yep. okay. See, I was right. I was right. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting. That's risky business, man. That's like some Fire Emblem shit. Which I Tony think says it's... you got a nick. You see, there oh, you go. That's, that's true. Yep, you have you to, got a nickname. Have to nickname and... Shit, I, I might do this. This might get me back into Scarlet and Violet. No items for the real pro. Tony's a real pro. Tony's a real yeah. pro. No items for the real pros. Of course. Tony, absolutely correct. He, of course. He, I'm, I'm not a real pro, though. I I like to take it easy. Mm. He's the best of us. I tell you what. Um, okay, so we got uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Um, I mean, Scarlet and Violet, you say, is the best Pokemon game. I, I've got that on, yeah, especially Scarlet and Violet. I think it's the best Pokemon game that we've at least gotten since probably Pokemon Gold. Sure. What about, um, I, I, we haven't talked, mentioned it, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I think. Of course, uh, yeah, that's sure. a no-brainer, sure. Uh, what about, let's get physical, Ring Fit Adventure, baby. You know, I think that's a, have you, you have you played Ring Fit Adventure? I actually have, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's actually top 10, but yeah, um, it, it's, it's pretty fun. cool. Yeah, sure. man, that, sure. that shit can burn your legs. I tell oh, you. for sure. Octopath Traveler, we haven't mentioned that yet. Oh yeah, no, we haven't. I I would put that on the short list. Octopath Traveler, Liz Hollow Knight. That's a that's uh, it's funny that you say that. I was actually going to bring up Hollow Knight um, because it is like one of the most beloved indie games ever, and I've tried to play it so many times, and I'm shocked at why I can never get past like thirty it's minutes because we it's, suck it. We suck well, at video games. Sure, but it seems extremely like my shit. Like I loved Guacamelee and. Uh, the, the games like that so I'm, I'm i need to give it another shake because i don't know why i i've just never really been able to um uh get into that yes tony slay the fucking spire i love you as he mumbles to himself i love it i mean i love handsome tony as well i yeah. actually got to spend some time with handsome tony today in person i yeah. tell you just as handsome in real life as he is in the chat <sighs> i tell you what you know what game we haven't mentioned yet what's up Luigi's Mansion 3. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Good call. Kidding good me? call. Good call. And just say, you know what we haven't said? Pokemon Arceus Legends. Mm, which yeah, was yeah, yeah. arguably, I think, probably the, the maybe one of the first Pokemon games that you, you actually loved. Yes, I devoured Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I, I, I have a theory that maybe that's the reason why I haven't been able to get as much into Violet and Scarlet because I, I maybe I like over Pokemon myself earlier uh, well, okay. or last year but um because i really want to get into it i just can't yet um did you ever play the steam world game steam world dig no i d- i've not man i fucking love those games yeah. I, I don't think that they're not worth the top 10 but um i'm looking at the the top 25 on ign and steam world dig 2 is on here i was like oh yeah i love those games i'm just um if you if you could entertain me for a second i would love to. i know that this might be a contentious opinion however Mario Golf mm. is actually really fun. It's really fun. And they actually, because I think people latched onto it because it is a fun game, it actually had legs for a little while. Unlike tennis, and especially unlike Strikers. God, that game. I did play a lot. Rival. I did play a lot of Mario Golf. I'm trying to, I'm looking for it on my Switch to see. I forget the subtitle. Mario Golf. Uh, oh, I guess I did, maybe I didn't download it on my. You know, Nick, oh, I super agree. rush. I agree with you, Nick. I love tennis as well. Unfortunately, no one else did in that game. It literally just kind of fell out. And that was sad. It's just sad. It's just a sad time. 
Uh, ever since Roger Federer retired, I don't, do I don't the, support tennis. Okay, so uh, Constantina asked a great question, Patrick. Do the games have to be made slash released by Nintendo? It's a really good question because as I scroll through the top lists on Metacritic, I'm passing a lot of games that I just adore. Things like What Remains of Edith Finch. Like it's a game that is on the Nintendo, but obviously wasn't made by Nintendo. So this is my thinking on it. I don't think it has to be made by Nintendo, but I think it has to be known as a Switch game. Either so, that or it's best played on the Switch. I think that's that. another good I think that's another good qualifier. Yeah. Because I, I think something like What Remains of Edith Finch, one fantastic game, but I do think it's just better as a console. Like it just visually is a great looking game. Like I wouldn't say like Witcher 3 for the Switch. I'm obviously gonna exactly. take a console version of that. But I do think that there that that she is correct though. There are like Hades. Little Nightmares is another good one that I don't feel like was hampered by the limitations of the Switch. I actually, I, I kind of think of Little Nightmares as a Switch game, even though it's a multi-platform game. Um, and and like, yeah, like this is, it's tricky. Persona 5 Royal, best on Switch. It, I'm sure it is. It just came out kind of recently on Switch. But like in my brain, it's not a Switch game, even yeah. though it's technically on Switch because it originally came out on PlayStation. You know what I mean? So, so I think it's kind okay. of a, I don't know that there's like an easy answer. I think it's kind of case by case. In a Let way. me ask you a question, Patrick. Yes. Persona 4 Golden is now on Switch. Yes. I mean, if, if, if we're counting that, it's number one. So the question is, is which when you think of that, do you think Persona 4 Golden, do you think Switch? Do I think, think Vita. Vita? You just Because visually, it looks better on the Switch. But that's a lot. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's the game that sold me. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we're looking at this list all wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe the list are. is the ten best games to play on Switch. If that's the case, Persona Four Golden's on this list. Persona Four Golden's the number one game ever, right? Right? Like, so I don't know. I think maybe we decide together. Do we want it to be like specific Switch type games, or do we want it just to be best games on Switch? Because I think that'll kind of change the list a little bit. Do you remember? Do you, I've, I've, I had this conversation earlier. I couldn't pinpoint it, but do you remember there was like some so something right where it's like they 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 ask like a robot or something a riddle, and the robot has to guess the riddle, and it can't guess the riddle, and it just fritzes out and just explodes because like I can't process it. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? I can remember distinctly. <clears throat> there's a part in I one don't. of the Dark Tower novels. I want to say, I want to say it was. Um, uh, we're talking about books right now yeah i don't know it just either way i feel like having this conversation i kind of feel like the robot that gets tricked with a riddle and it's oh. range the gears can't process this conundrum of like sure. what are we talking about and then it just finally just explodes that's because how I feel like, right now well because here's so i'm i'm back to the first page of the metacritic list number three the high, the third highest rated game on the nintendo switch is the portal companion collection so portals one and two in a collection if if it's the 10 best games on Switch, that's on this list. But I don't think of that as a Switch game. So that's I'm kind of going against that that ideology now. Are we thinking that we did not prepare enough for this situation that we've now put ourselves in? No, I mean sure, but like that that's the fun of it. Is that <laughs> it's definitely, no, this is gonna a great conversation? Yeah, no, this is great. So here maybe maybe this is what we do. Okay. I have an idea. I have a solution, potentially. Okay. Let's throw on like we Persona 4. Off. Let's take our pants off first and foremost. Thank you. Second, let's put on games like Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Royal, fucking Portal Companion, Collect. Collect. And and maybe we do, here's the top 10, and then here's honorable mentions. Okay. And and honorable mentions, we will throw in things like the ones that we don't necessarily say are Switch games, but you can play them on Switch. Did Dream Daddy dating sim ever come to Switch? Because it that might be must have. It I mean, been. it must have. I dream about Daddy often, especially mm. now that he's on uh, HBO The Last of Us Sundays at nine. Fair enough. Pedro Pascal. Um, okay, I feel like we got a good list here. Some games we haven't mentioned: the Ori games, Ori and the Blind Forest and the Will of the Wisps. Yeah, I think I when I think of those, I think Xbox. I do too. I do too. Yeah. Uh, Undertale. Time. I know a lot of people play Undertale. Never played it. You know that is a game that like I I I, I have a like it's not downloaded, but I have it in my library to play. Just just never did. It. 
Connie asks, what was the game where there's a man's face on a horse? I don't fucking know, but I need to. This sounds very similar to um this sounds very similar to something like from the WarioWare games. Ooh. But those hey, the WarioWare games are also fun. Those are very underrated titles. Can I really quick aside? I almost yeah. instead of this topic, I almost brought a to- a list from the gamer that is uh <laughs> the 10 video game characters who would fail at pizza delivery. <laughs> I was just going to we'll go through that <laughs> list with you. Can we do that list soon? And Wario was on there. I so mean, maybe, fair. Look at maybe this shit. Can... Look at this shit. Apparently, Horse Face Daddy was also a dating game. <laughs> oh my God. And we Constantine, need, it. We we need, need it. you to get this. We need you to get you to, like, you got to tell us what this yeah. is. And then Patrick is just like he did with Peppa Pig. He yep. will play the dating sim. Correct. Correct. Okay. And maybe one day I'll play Kingdom Hearts. Nick's going to jump in now after I said those words and be like, the best way to play Kingdom Hearts is on the Switch. To my point, which is the best way to play Kingdom Hearts is when you're rotting in hell. There there you go. Right next to Nancy Reagan. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go listen to any episode of STC. Boom. (laughs) Man, I just, so now I'm actually, I brought out my Switch with the idea of looking at it. uh, Man, I haven't until now. Fucking Nino Cooney. Oh my god! Playable on the Switch. Switch? Yeah, fucking Kotor on the Switch. That's the, that's what okay, I'm but saying. The Kotor like, on the Switch was a disaster. Right? It's it's actually it's a mess. Actually, yeah, you're you're right. Um, uh, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racing came in. Yeah. Oh my no, god. No, we, we oh need my to stop. God, Patrick, you have to stop what you're doing right now. Okay, you need to Uma No Prince Sama. I have to have you pull this up right now. I'm gonna put it. You just, you just got to figure out how to get this shit up here. I can. Uma no Prince Sama. Yes, the Prince and Sama are hyphenated. U uh, M A no Prince hyphen Sama S A M A. Oh, I oh I oh I got it. Oh boy, uh, this is okay. This is could be the highlight of the, of the everything we've oh ever done in our entire God. life. <laughs> oh, do our audio listeners are not going to have a fucking idea what's about to happen? No, this is this this portion specifically is definitely. Can we video. just say if you are an audio listener, pull over your car. It, if you're on the interstate, perfect time to do it. Just just whip it over right in the middle of the interstate. Fuck everybody. What up. is this? <laughs> My hero prince, or my horse prince, I mean. That is the most handsome boy I've ever seen. Also, look at this. This is fucking demonic. What is happening, Patrick? I don't like the implications of this image on Pinterest. This is fan art. Connie, you put us into some dangerous territory, I think. Connie, I'm just going to tell you right now. Either we're best friends or we're mortal enemies, and I can't tell the difference anymore. But once again, that is a handsome boy horse. It's probably the most handsome boy horse I've ever seen. I gotta say, I'll tell you right now. I'm scared. Now that's on my search history, on my work computer of all things. Shouldn't record on your work computer. Shouldn't record on my work computer. That's that's the cardinal sin. Um, Okay. We have, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. We got like 25 games on this list. So this, let's do this. Hmm. Let's do, okay, I have an idea. I'm going to share again. So we're getting a little visual. We're going to be talking through it. I'm going to, we're, we're getting a little behind the scenes here. I'm going to share the doc. Share the, oh God, we're going to show them how the sausage is made. Let's do a little zoom, a little boom, a little Just- enter. I need to get it all. If you're gonna page. look, if you're gonna come the doc, show them all the homoeroticism that we share between each other, please. <laughs> oh, they're not ready. They're simply not ready. Um, no, okay, that's everything. All right. So I figure what we can do, we can um, <laughs> 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 just re- just reflecting on the last ten minutes of this podcast. <laughs> um, okay, so we have Breath of the Wild, rails. Mario Odyssey, Stardew Valley, Hades, Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Genshin Impact, Smash, Celeste, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Bravely Default 2, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Octopath Traveler, Hollow Knight, Slay the Spire, Luigi's Mansion 3, Pokemon Legends Arceus, Mario Golf, Super Rush, Little Nightmares, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Royal, and Portal Companion Collection. And I'm realizing, oh no, Scarlet and Violet is there. Okay. So let's, I think maybe we go through, let's just bold the ones that I think are locks. Okay. Such as Breath of the Wild, Odyssey, 
Hades, Animal Crossing. Sure. Mario Kart 8. Of course. I think those are the only total locks. Yeah, I would agree. Say that those, yeah, I think that those four definitely are locked in, probably in the top five, to be completely honest with you. Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So, oh, come on. Come on. You can do this, buddy. There you Boom. go. He's got this. Don't worry, guys. He's got this. So now maybe maybe we go through and uh, remove a few. Okay. Ones that we don't think will make it. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. Um, I think respectfully, Little Nightmares. Probably not a top tenner. Let's let's just throw it down here at the bottom. I'm throwing think... Portal. I'm throwing Portal out. I'm sorry. I'm throwing oh, it out. Oh wow. Okay. Commands my... Command Z. No, yeah, my sometimes my keyboard has a mind of its own and it just it's because there's so much jism in the keyboard patch oh boy <laughs> <laughs> look man this episode's gone off rails who gives a shit all right let me just i guess i gotta fucking type it out again okay, i forgot we're not on stc right now we can't say things like jism i mean we we're can i mean, yeah jism. i think I, I don't know that mario golf super rush deserves a top 10 spot personally i i agree so let's throw this down here um, I don't know that Genshin deserves a, a top 10 mostly. And here's, here's my reasoning. Okay. I don't think either of us have really played a lot of it. Sure. And I kind of, and, and this could be uh, a, a Patrick problem. I don't know that I, I necessarily think of that as a switch game. Fair. might be because my brother plays a lot of Genshin on the PlayStation. So I think of it as a PlayStation game. Mm-hmm. but agree or disagree i i agree i agree and i also agree with nick who says i can agree with smash sting because of cultural impact how hyped everyone would be with new characters there's always tournaments everyone knows it i think that that is 100 percent and agree for for that as well i think smash bros is indeed a lock for top one of the top best games okay i'm gonna lock it in at number 10 fine with me Um, let's see. What other ones can we knock out? I feel like we got to get I'm rid just, of at least one Pokemon because there's no way three Pokemon are in the true. top ten when there's only four spots left. True. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say, and I'm sorry, Connie, but I'm I'm gonna go with Pokemon. Let's go, Eevee. Kill it. If I if I had to remove it, I think that would be the Poke the most recent Pokemon game. Wouldn't even include Sword and Shield. Like I definitely think. Both of those wouldn't it. be in the top 10. Um, I will say if we want to add one, I do think Octopath Traveler is a very important game for the Switch. I think uh, that's a bubble for me. Really? I think, okay. I think, I think it's, it's one that I think... Uh, the only reason I don't say immediately agree is because there's still a lot of names up here. We just got to, okay. I think, do process. Very okay. well could land in the top I'm 10. Gonna, I did I'm like gonna... that game a lot. And can I pitch us to remove Slay the Spire? As much as that game is great, I just You're don't... just saying that because I didn't agree, immediately agree with Octopath, aren't you? Oh, a thousand percent accurate, yes. No, I mean, it's... It, here's the thing. Yes. Slay the Spire, a huge surprise for me last year in my, like, top probably 20 games of all time, maybe, potentially. I haven't given it a lot of thought yet. I don't... I, I think of it as a PC game. Even though I played it on the Switch and mobile more so a PC game. Mm-hmm. Um, I think of this remaining list, I think at the very least persona five Royal mm-hmm. uh, gone. Yeah, I agree. And you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to sacrifice one of my choices. Oh, finally, I'm going to sacrifice bravely the fault too. as okay. much as I think that that game is, is one of the best games on the switch. I do think that like not that many people actually probably played it. And if you haven't like I highly recommend it. it's a, a wonderful game. I think that there's a lot to enjoy there. If you're an RPG fan, especially classic RPG fan, like old school final fantasy. Uh, but yeah, no, I just don't think that it got the love that it deserved. And because of that, I do think it falls out of the top 10. Yeah. A quick aside too, I think it's worth mentioning we haven't talked about like Bayonetta, Xenoblade, Fire yeah. Emblem, mostly because we aren't fucking nerds. They say as we have a video game podcast, uh, it's a joke, obviously. Um, but 
just didn't speak to us. We haven't really played them. So yeah. that's probably why they're not here. Um, but it's, it, you know, it's, it's sad to me and it's interesting to me that we didn't once mention the name cult of the lamb, because I think it has the stuff to be here, but it just, if, if it's broken, it's broken, you know? Yeah, no, I, I, I can't disagree with you in the slightest on that. Um, I'm just scrolling through and seeing like, if there's anything that we kind of missed uh, of games that are on my switch, then I, I saw those. And that's why I thought of it. I, um, I yeah, and I definitely think that like Celeste and Hollow Knight definitely deserve a place. Not sure where, but they you know those are games that I definitely think are, I would say for me at least probably more known for being Switch games. Yeah, I would. Um, I definitely think of Celeste and Hollow Knight as Switch games. Absolutely for sure. So let's let's bubble them. Okay. I also think I, I don't know. I think. Even though I've only put a little bit of time into Stardew personally, mm-hmm. I think Stardew probably deserves a spot in the top ten because of how like how big it has become and how important of a game it is for the culture. Sure. And and even though it's not necessarily a game that I've put a lot of time in, I see how good of a game it is and how much people love it. What do you think? I no, I think you are are one hundred percent correct there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that brings us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven officially in the top 10. And we have these few other ones to, to go through before we really lock things in. I think Luigi's Mansion 3, maybe a bubble game, but even just saying, yeah, what, what do we think? What, what do you think about Luigi's Mansion 3? Nick says, uh, it's such an improvement from the 3S one. Great bosses, gorgeous environments, good for playing with others, good for kids and adults. All true. It's true. I would say, looking at this list, how many spaces do we have, Patrick? I can't. Count. So there are there are three spots uh, up for grabs at okay. the moment, and we got three games in the bubble, and there are five games to decide whether they de- belong in the bubble, okay. in the list, or off the list. So the question is, which Pokemon game are we bringing with us? So here's my thinking. So we'll, we're going to put a pin in Luigi's Mansion Three. Connie and Nick are are on my side here in that I think, as Connie says. I think for me, it's Arceus. Um, Nick says, I think, yeah, Arceus, I think got everyone pumped for Scarlet. It was so good. Tony says Arceus as well. It did something different. I think from a game creation standpoint and from a game play standpoint, as of today, Violet still all sorts of busted for people. Arceus there's still some jank but like it definitely is in a much better place so like as of today right now i think rcs makes sense doesn't mean that violet or uh, scarlet don't necessarily deserve it today or maybe in the future but for me i would put my vote behind rcs you Uh, know i'm gonna defer to the audience on this one okay and i'm gonna go with rcs for because of them they have swayed me even though i prefer scarlet i will trust the people i always love that you trust the people i you do know? it's it's one of your best features one of your some say ones, really. some say it's my calves but <laughs> those those <laughs> juicy calves all right three left in the uh in the undecided camp mario plus rabbit's kingdom battle i th- i think we kill it i liked it uh, a lot but as i we kind of talk through other games i don't think i would put it above the three that we have currently in the bubble mm. so let's just just be honest with ourselves came in okay. for once do you agree i you know yeah i mean i yeah i mean uh i'm torn here patrick i can be swayed i can I be swayed can, i think my thing is i'm i'm i struggle with persona for golden on oh the i list. was talking about mario rabbits specifically no i if know what i'm saying that. is that if if moving it out of the list and then sticking with like keeping with persona Four golden, like that's where I get, I have troubles, right? Well, cause we, there's still these three in the bubble. Oh, we still, oh, okay. We still have, bubbles. these are the undecideds. Yeah. I definitely going to go with, if I had to choose between this two, I would say Luigi's mansion three over persona Four golden. Okay. So we'll move that up. We'll put Persona 4 in the potential honorable mentions category. So right now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight officially locked in. We got four left for the final two spots. Okay. Those four are Octopath Traveler, Celeste, Hollow Knight, and Luigi's Mansion 3. This is what my heart tells me, Cayman. Okay. My heart, 
my heart of hearts tells me mm-hmm. Celeste and Luigi's Mansion 3. However, interesting. However, I have not put in a final decision. That's just what my heart tells me in this moment right now. Let me tell you what my heart says, Patrick. My heart says Celeste. Okay. And Octopath Traveler. We both say Celeste, so Celeste in the list. Mm-hmm. Man, am I about to replay Celeste? Such a, such a great game. Mm. You know what neither of us said? Mm. Hollow Knight. True. And again, I think it's just because we haven't really played it. Yeah, Hol- Hollow Knight's not really... I don't know. It's not that like the game doesn't seem like a game I would have fun with. I just... I don't know. Just never really. I don't know. Okay, we well, just a quick aside. Uh, Nick in the chat just played Celeste for the first time and helped me out of a funk. That's the th- Celeste is magic, man. It is the story it tells. I think is so moving, and the like the gameplay is just so sure. perfect. Yeah, I mean, I I think I need to replay Celeste. Um, you know what? Also, we didn't mention Cayman. Mm-hmm. Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Yeah, I honestly didn't really enjoy that game. Really, I, I loved it. Yeah. It was so fun. Kiki got me into that game, actually. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I see you. Kiki. I see you out there. All right. Octopath Traveler, Luigi's Mansion 3. I think perhaps what we do is turn to the chat. Let's turn to the chat. So I already saw Constantina said she's only played Luigi's Mansion 3. So I think she would probably default to Luigi's Mansion 3. I know Nick has played them both. Uh, Tony, I'm curious if you've played uh, Octopath. Because here's, just, you know here's, what, you know what, yeah, I, I have a thought. Of the games on the list, there's not a JRPG. There, you're, you are absolutely correct. So may, I'm kind of leaning Octopath now. I, Handsome Tony says the same. I'm just saying. Let's put, let's do Octopath, and I think Luigi's Mansion can lead the honorable mentions camp. I like that idea. I right. think that that's a solid one. All right. So now, oh God, this part is where two is ranking them. See, this is where shit hits the fan for me because I don't know how to rank them. I think, I think this is what we do. Mm-hmm. We just go from bottom to top and say, "Would you put it?" No, that's not actually going to work. I think we start with the best one and then go from there. Okay. Which I think it's safe to assume either Breath of the Wild or Hades is number one. I'm sorry, what? Breath of the Wild or Hades? Are you silly, Patrick? Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8? Sure. I would say Mario Kart 8 is either 2 or 3. Yes, well, that's what I'm saying. I think, like, definitely, like, as much as I... I wasn't a huge Breath of the Wild fan, but I think, like, that game obviously is the best. Yeah, okay. Um, so, that's number one. Yeah, I would say Breath of the Wild 1, for sure. 100% yeah. for sure. Yeah, Connie and, and Tony in the chat. They also say Breath of the Wild got to be number one. Um, I know, ooh. I know. Look, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I look Breath of the Wild for me. Like I don't know. There's something about it. Like I, I don't know if it was like the the mechanics of the weapons breaking all the time or just I don't know. It just didn't. It didn't really hit for me. Like I, I played. I I was like balancing both Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey at the same time. <laughs> just had more fun with Mario Odyssey. I think the reason you don't like Breath of the Wild is because there's not a man in it where his face is just covered in like another person's intestines. Wow, just, did you the fact that you would say that, Patrick, is so accurate. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Connie is melting down in the chat. Yeah. You don't like Breath of the this, Wild. Uh, this is like the time you found out my middle name was Maria. And to that point, fair enough. Also, that's uh, every... Well, it's either Nicole... Elizabeth or Marie slash Maria. It's fine. Nick also in the chat, Breath of the Wild one uh, is number one. Every other developer copied them for years and they still are. That's a, that's also a really no, good that, Yeah. I definitely am, am content with that. I would say Mario Kart eight comes in at number two for me. Um, I think that that game is just, it just has. The Liz also Liz did. She did. She a few minutes ago agreed with you that Hades should be under Mario Kart three. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll defer to y'all for this. I think Hades is such a special game, uh, but I, I, I mean, 
fucking I love Mario Kart. I still play it. And it came out like 29 years ago at this point. Um, okay, so number one, number two, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8. So obviously, if I made a case for Hades at number one, I think it makes sense for it to be number three. I'm content with that. Um, would you agree? I, I'm content with letting you have this, yeah. Well, what, what would you say is number three? I, I would probably go with Odyssey, but okay. I'm fine with Hades because I would say if Hades is number three, Odyssey is number four. I, I would agree with that. Odyssey is definitely a, a top five, I think. You know what's weird about Odyssey, though? and I But I don't hold this against it. It's like one of the only Mario games I really have trouble playing again. I've tried replaying it a lot, but it just, for some reason, I can't get into it again. This is, okay, this is an interesting point that Connie makes. Uh, she, she says, I liked Hades a lot, but I was pretty pissed they didn't offer it in Greek. Malaka. Which is so, f- that is actually, I didn't know that, but that's actually very interesting that the game literally is like all about Greek mythology and there's no like, greek language first. yeah that is actually is That's kind of so shocking fucking weird to me that is kind of shocking. Like the one thing i'd be like if you include any other language that might be the one i would say probably do yeah bastards um okay so now we got stardew we got animal crossing pokemon rcs celeste and octopath i feel like i kind of feel like in a way this list is already kind of in order for me i, I think i would yeah. put new horizons next i would after do, odyssey i would 100 percent yeah and then I might put Celeste after okay. Animal Crossing. I'm fine with that, yeah. And then, so so then so the top six now would be Breath of, Breath of the Wild, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Hades, Odyssey, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, Celeste. So we have a lot of chatter. In oh the, yeah, whoa, it's, in the it's popping off. We do got a lot of chatter in the chat about how Smash should not be number ten. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I and think- then Liz, not Stardew over Animal Crossing New Horizons, Celeste over both. That, so that's kind of where my bias comes in, I think, with, with Animal Crossing, uh, sure. since I haven't really played a lot of Stardew, and I just loved New Horizons. But if if the chat agrees, then the chat agrees. The chat so agrees. If, if, if the chat can get behind this idea that Animal Crossing needs to get needs to be lower, I can get behind that. Um, and, and so maybe... Here's the thing. I don't. I personally, because of my bias against Smash, I don't think S- Smash can go above seventh. I'm content with that. With it being seven, we can lock it in at seventh. And I'm gonna piss off a lot of people when I say this, but I think Octopath Traveler shouldn't be lower than eight. I think eight is a solid place for me personally with Octopath, but that's. It's just what I'm feeling, and if you guys don't like it, then 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 fine, and we put it lower because I'm not going to argue with you. I cause... I think I think I think Cayman, the best I can do for Octopath is nine. Really, I think because I I really liked Octopath. I mean, for it to be number nine, I think is it, it tells how good it is. I, I mean, okay, fair, but also I think that that Nick has a great point where he says Octopath will move rpg forward again on switch and i can't disagree it honestly i would say that octopath traveler has kind of ushered in a resurgence of like the old school jrpgs that we're getting a lot of now and i think that that's like wherever we put it i think that that's a totally fine place to have at least it's in the top 10 it, it deserves to be in the top 10 i'm content i'm content so Liz makes a good point about Stardew. She says, for me, Animal Crossing New Horizons has a definitive ceiling, whereas Stardew is much more intricate, which is objectively true. Like seeing, using Rose and Sid as an example, like they both put so much time into that. True. And like the amount of times that we've tried to go back to Animal Crossing and like once it's done, it's kind of done. Like once Fair. you hit the ceiling, it's it's kind of, it's kind of gone. Um, so, so that makes sense. Um, and, and yeah, Connie, I'm so sorry. I love, uh, ACNH, uh, but I do not think it should be number five. Hey, the people have spoken and it's now, it's now gone down. So okay. with this in mind, then came in. Yes. If, if animal crossing is now this far down mm-hmm. and smash is now at number seven mm-hmm. and we have Pokemon Arceus and Octopath Traveler, Traveler left, I am willing in this 
in this moment, even though I just said, I think the best Octopath can do is eight or is nine. I'm willing to put it at number eight, Animal Crossing at nine, Pokemon RCs at 10. Okay. Then if that's the case, then I will accept it's fate at number nine and RCs is number 10. So, so eight for Animal Crossing? Yes. Okay. I, I think like we have to give it credit for what it is. It lasted an entire year. And like not many games can say that. And sure. sure, now we're at a point where like, yeah, we've all kind of grown. But you can't tell me that if they weren't to announce a brand new Animal Crossing game that we all wouldn't lose our goddamn minds. Oh, for sure. We so would like, I think that minds. that's what we need to take into consideration on like how important that game is too. Um, so I'm fine with Animal Crossing being at eight. Uh, and I'm fine with Octopath coming in at nine at that point. But um, it's a, okay. I, look, I think that this list is a very good list. I think and this I, please is a very do not good make list. me try to list out the rest of them because I don't know if my. Oh, no, no, no. I just I did a little bit of, of, of moving around just now, but it's it's not definitive. But so this is the definitive list. Breath of the Wild, the number one game on Nintendo Switch. Number two, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number three, Hades. Number four, Mario Odyssey. Number five, Stardew Valley. Number six, Celeste. Number seven, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Mm. Number eight, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Number nine, Octopath Traveler. And coming in at number 10, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I think it's a, I think it's a, a fantastic list, personally. I agree. There are a couple games... In the in the bubble in the honorable mentions, Luigi's Mansion Three, Persona Four Golden, Scarlet and Violet. Some of these games I might consider subbing in at number ten, but Pokemon needs to be on there. So I'm we're gonna lock this in. But I think I mean for, for some of these games to be on the bubble it tells a story. Came in that I the switch is pretty fucking good. I think it tells a story. I do agree. Well, I concur. We did it. The definitive top ten list for switch if you're listening to this later or watching on youtube let us know what you think we got wrong what games deserve to be on this top 10 list because you know i'm sure you have fucking ideas that you think are better than ours so i mean they probably do us. honestly tell them to us all right and cayman i'm shocked to say but i think that's our show I think that's this is this is how it ends, right? I think this is how it ends. We do have one thing to update on the 2023 calendar, and then we're gonna sign off. And then before we sign off, if you have watched the most recent episode of The Last of Us and have played the games, we are going to do game spoilers. A little five minute Last of Us corner to about what we think might come in the next episode, and and you know just general other thoughts so far uh, that could potentially be spoilery. So we'll be clear when that happens. But for now, I do want to mention. A cool uh, release is on the horizon. Came mm. MLB The Show. It was announced today as of recording that they are bringing a new game mode to the next MLB uh, title coming March 28th called Storylines, The Negro Leagues. It's an interactive narrative experience narrated by the president of the Negro Leagues Museum in which you play as eight different players and learn about their life and impact in the league. I think that's pretty fucking cool. Honestly, when I read that, I was like, that's fucking amazing. Isn't that really cool? And announcing it during Black History Month, I think it's really apropos. I think that that's really fucking cool. And honestly, it's a little, I think we're like, we probably should have had this sooner, guys. Probably. It was going but, to be. Hey, you know what? If we yeah. get it now, we get it now. But I think that that's amazing. Yeah, I, I feel like this probably is something that they should have done sooner too. But the fact that we're getting it now is awesome. Yeah. And this is it could very well be a reason that I pick up the show this year because don't typically like baseball games, but because it's just it's always the same. Like that's the thing with sports games. If you played one, you played them all essentially in in that franchise. And I just accidentally muted myself with my hands. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. So shout out to them coming March twenty eighth. Um, if you go to the MLB's Twitter or PlayStation's Twitter, like they've they're sharing this trailer, so go check that out because the the trailer it's like four minutes and it's actually kind of like like history driven as well. Um, kind of hearing them talk about it, so it's really cool. Go go check it out. Um, but that is the last part of our show. So let's sign us off. Thank you again for being here, especially for those of you that are in the chat. I thought this was a, a really fun conversation. I want to do this again. I want to do like make our own list with the chat again, because I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, but 
If you're listening later, make sure you follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash so that you're notified live for future episodes when we do things like this so you can be a part of it in the chat and help us make the definitive list of whatever the list is going to be. Um, you can follow the pod on Twitter at Spot Games Pod. You can follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Spotlight Games Pod. Uh, we haven't posted a TikTok in probably 10 years, but one of these days we will. I promise you. Uh, Sister Podcast, Spotlight TV, you can follow on Instagram and Twitter at Spotlight TV Pod, and you can follow Save Trash Cinema at Save Trash Cinema on all socials if you want. You can follow me at Patrick Swag. You can follow Cayman at Kid Cayman. You know, you you, know there are places that. you can follow us, but definitely also if you haven't, we would love it if you would go over to our YouTube and subscribe there. Um, because I'm we have now started, you know, we've mentioned it a few times, but I'm breaking out the topics into their own videos on YouTube. Um, I'm having fun doing it. And I think people are the, the YouTube audience is liking it more that way. So if that's something that you enjoy, head over to our YouTube for that. Um, 